High School's virtual commencement exercises. Please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Performed by Patuxent Senior Chamber Choir. <laughs> gentlemen. My name is Kate Peremsky. I am the president of, of Patuxent High School class of 2020. I would like to introduce Celia Pizarro, the representative for the graduates with distinction, who will be speaking later in the program for the Patuxent High School class of 2020. We are here this evening for the annual commencement program. While this program is vastly different from our typical graduation ceremony, the meaning behind it remains the same. We are here to celebrate the culmination of 12 years of hard work, resulting in our graduation from Patuxent High School. We hope you enjoy the ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce the principal of Patuxent High School, Mr. Marcus Watson. Good evening and welcome. I am Marcus Watson, principal of Patuxent High School. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our assistant principals who have worked hard to make this event possible. And I want to thank them for all of their hard work on behalf of the students at Patuxent High School. Mr. Bert Forrest, assistant principal. Mr. Mark Gladfelter, assistant principal. And Mrs. Ann Rickwood, assistant principal. Thank you. Welcome graduates, parents, family members, staff, members of the Board of Education, and special guests. We are here tonight to celebrate the Patuxent High School graduating class of 2020. What a year it has been. Graduation is a combination of 13 years of learning. Earlier on, you learned your ABCs and that two plus two is four. Certainly your classes have become more challenging as you have progressed through your career. Many other lessons have been learned as well. Lessons focused on teamwork, communication, accountability, perseverance, and responsibility have become part of your daily life. Each of you has learned so much from so many. Value that you are who you are because of the many people in your life that have helped you along the way. But Tuxedo High students are blessed to have the absolute best staff of educators in Coward County Public Schools. Each of you should consider yourself very fortunate to be part of an outstanding school system. The academic and life lessons you receive from PHS teachers and staff will remain with you as you begin the next phase of your life. You have also learned valuable lessons from parents, grandparents, coaches, peers, <clears throat> and many others. These lessons have helped make you who you are. In the future, these lessons will be, will be passed from you to your own children or perhaps nieces and nephews. Yes, you will sound like your parents one day. Deny it all you want. I know that it is hard to believe, but it happens to all of us. History teaches us many lessons. The history of coins is a very interesting topic to a former social studies teacher like me. Each of you received a challenge coin in your graduation envelope after you crossed the stage. I would like to share a brief history lesson about challenge coins. The history of the challenge coin has been debated. 
During ancient times, kings and emperors shaped precious metals with their image as currency for exchange of goods and services. The Roman Emperor Maximus was one such leader who also had legionnaires who fought for Rome. The payment of legionnaires in pressed metal coins is likely the first recorded military coin in the history of warfare. The Romans were among the first to stamp precious metals into coins, and some credit the Romans with the origin of challenge coins. The most accepted story referencing military challenge coins dates to World War I. As legend has it, a wealthy U.S. military officer had bronze medallions made with his flying squadron insignia stamped on them. He presented the coins to each member of his squadron before they departed on missions over Europe. One day, a pilot went down over Germany and was later captured by German soldiers and held as a prisoner of war. His personal belongings and identification were taken by the Germans. The Germans mistake, mistaking a small leather pouch that contained a squadron coin inside. The pilot eventually escaped his German captors and made his way back to France. The French thought he was a spy. Upon discovery of the squadron medallion, he was recognized as an American and later returned to his unit. The coin saved his life and earned him the recognition as an American soldier. The military challenge coin has evolved further today. While the challenge coin remains a military tradition, the practice of presenting coins has become mainstreamed into American society and culture. Coins are used by many companies and individuals to commemorate special occasions, to recognize individual or group accomplishments, and many other reasons. The story of the Patuxent High School Class of 2020 Legacy Coin will be shared for many years to come. The paw side of the coin will remain unchanged for future graduating classes. The side of the coin will honor the class of 2020 and establish a legacy for this class as they have not only met the challenge presented to them this year, they have triumphed over it. The other side of the coin features a modified Maryland flag with Patuxent school colors. The words on the flag side of the coin read, pride, resilience, and family. Each word embodies the class of 2020. Take pride in your accomplishments and your triumph over the challenges you have faced, not only this year, but all the challenges you have overcome. Remain resilient and continue to work hard towards your goals to reach your dreams. It is the ability to remain strong when faced with obstacles that allow all of us to achieve success. The final word is family. There may be, there may be no more powerful word in the English language than family. Each of us may define family differently, but all of us know how much our family means to us. Nothing is more important. Each of you have been a part of the Pax Nation family for the past four years and will remain part of that family forever. This new tradition, awarding a challenge coin to the graduating class, will allow for the class of 2020 to remain a part of graduation for years to come. As future graduating classes will design one side of the graduation coin with the class of 2020 side remaining unchanged. My hope for some is that you will share a special moment years from now with your own child or grandchild as they graduate from Patuxent High School with their own challenge coin. After today, it will be your story to tell, your legacy to carry on. In closing, I wish you success. Remember, many people helped you become who you are today. As you move into the next phase of your life, as some would say, begin adulthood, do not forget about the model you have already established for success. This model requires you to rely on others, ask for help, to learn new lessons, to work hard, and to never give up despite the obstacles in front of you. No one lives their dreams without a strong work ethic and help from others. The, de the definition of challenge will be different for each of you as you move forward. I am confident that you are leaving Patuxent High School with the knowledge and character traits necessary to achieve sustained success. As your paths have converged daily on Patuxent High School over the past four years, your paths will now diverge from Patuxent High School. Remember, you now control your new path. Sorry. We will now have a musical selection in open water eventide.
composed by Class of 2020 member Sam Valina and performed by the Class of 2020 band seniors. <laughs> Sam and band seniors. Please help me welcome Mr. William Phelan, who brings you greetings from the Board of Education of Calvert County Public Schools, and Dr. Daniel D. Curry, Superintendent of Calvert County Public Schools. Good evening. Graduates, my name is Bill Phelan. I'm president of the Calvert County Board of Education. Graduates, parents, grandparents, family, and friends. In most graduation addresses, speakers will give some admonitions to the graduates. Things like, remember your teachers, keep in touch with your classmates, do the best that you can do, be the best that you can be. Remember those who work so hard to get you where you are today or some similar statement. But in preparing for this address this year, those admonitions on the surface seem somehow so hollow, so inadequate. 
I have attended a lot of graduations over the years. And when, when I tell people I'm scheduled to attend four high school graduations, they almost inevitably say, how can you stand that and do that year after year? My answer is always, I love it. I never tire of hearing pomp and circumstance, of looking out over the sea of blue and red, green or white, of hearing the, the chorus sing and the band play, of listening to the speeches of those selected either because of their high school academic achievements or because they were leaders of their class, to see the eagerness of each of the graduates, to see the reactions when handing them their diplomas. That has been the typical high school graduation at least in our country, for over 100 years. But, but this year, much of that will be missing. The last three months have put a strain on all of us, but for the most part, we did not miss out on any major events. Not so you, the class of 2020. You missed out on the end of the winter sports, and all of the spring sports. There were no honor ceremonies, no class picnic, none of the year ending, high school ending events. But you will get your diplomas, diplomas just as valuable as any received by a prior, prior Calvert County High School graduate. The uniqueness of the 2020 graduations will I believe make it more memorable, not just for your parents and family and friends and relatives, but for you as well. When in 20 or 30 or more years, you say, I graduated in 2020, people will say, oh yeah, that was the year that everything was done differently. The year everything changed. As high school speakers have said much or many times before today, I can't tell you what the future will hold for you, but the following means just as much today as is any graduation. Remember your teachers. Keep in touch with your classmates. Do the best that you can do be the best that you can be. And remember those who work so hard to get you to this day. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, my name is Dan Curry. I'm the superintendent of schools for Calvert County. And congratulations, class of 2020. Knowing that you've been cooped up and limited in your movements since late March, I thought this story might be appropriate to share with you. Do you know what this means? C-A-V-U. It's a term used by pilots, I understand, and it means ceiling and visibility, unlimited. President George H.W. Bush, our 41st president, kept a picture on his wall in his office with Cavu on it. He felt it represented his life. It was his motto, another way of saying, the sky is the limit. George H.W. Bush became a U.S. Navy pilot, the youngest pilot at the time, before his 19th birthday. He went on to become a congressman and an ambassador and a vice president and a president, and the father of a president. What a great life. Ceiling and visibility unlimited. Ideal conditions for flying. Unlimited ceiling means you can't hit your head if you tried. Jump as high as you can, fly as high as you can, you won't hit the ceiling. Unlimited visibility. There is nothing in your way. No clouds, no fog, no smog. You can't see the other side 
only because it is so far away. So during this time of limited public access, of social distancing, and following some very strict practices that keep us all safe, you have been limited in your access to friends and family. Opportunities to celebrate your senior year in the last quarter, attending your home high school in the traditional way have been taken away from you. I'm sure you have felt limited, quarantined, restrained, and disappointed. But you mustn't let the COVID-19 experience limit your future. In fact, you can use this experience, which is unlike any previous high school class, to catapult yourself into the world, much as jets are launched from aircraft carriers. I wish you a future filled with days of CAVU, Ceiling and Visibility Unlimited. No matter where you may want to go and what you may want to do beyond your high school graduation, the possibilities are endless. Your ceiling and your visibility is unlimited. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Phelan and Dr. Curry. We will now have a musical selection, Jupiter from the Planets, performed by the PHS Chamber Orchestra. Thank you, PHS Chamber Orchestra. It is my privilege to introduce Kate Peremsky, president of the class of 2020. Kate is the daughter of Dennis and Nida Peremsky. She has led the field hockey team as a captain and played on the varsity team for three years. 
including the 2017 state championship team and the 2018 state finalist team. She also played on the varsity lacrosse team for three years. Kate is a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Environmental Club, Class Council, and is president of the Interact Club, where she volunteers in the community. Kate has maintained an A average for all four years, earning the President's Award for Educational Excellence and the Superintendent's Award for having high honor roll every quarter of high school. She is a member of the 1300 SAT Club, is an AP Scholar with Distinction, and a graduate with Distinction. Kate plans to attend the University of Maryland in the fall, majoring in environmental science and policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Peremsky. Over the course of the past two months, we have all realized that there's a time in our lives where we will come to a crossroads, where we are forced to make a choice. Now is that time. As we graduate into a world filled with injustices and fear, we have a choice. Will we move into the future with hope and positivity? Will we be strong? Will we stand for something? Be passionate? Make a difference? For 12 years, we have grown together as a class. We have learned from each other in our successes and in our failures. Some of these things we have welcomed, and some of these things we have struggled through with the support of our friends and classmates. Now is the time to take what we have learned reflect on what it means to us, and move forward. As we go our separate ways, this is one thing I hope you will always remember. No matter what you choose to do with your future, do it with love and with passion. And above all, make sure it is something that makes you happy and proud. So move forward to your future and continue to grow. Continue to learn and continue to actively better yourself and the world around you. Don't be afraid to move forward. We all know that change can be scary. We also know that change is unavoidable. We are all on the precipice of enormous change. So take a second to appreciate the power that you have right now. Because right now, the possibilities are endless. What you do from this day forward is completely up to you. Move forward and create your dreams instead of waiting for them to come to you. There are no limits to what you can accomplish if you are willing to make it happen. And again, remember to prioritize happiness and live with purpose. One of the people who has been the best example of this is Miss Powell. Throughout my time at Patuxent, and even before that, I've had the privilege to be coached and taught by Miss Powell. And honestly, she is the perfect example of what I aspire to be like as a person. Every day, she does the things that make her happy and that she truly cares about. She has touched so many lives and continues to have an enormous influence on our community. Whether that is teaching or coaching or organizing events for the school, for us, she puts her whole heart into it. It is things like this that create the atmosphere of family we are so proud to have in our school and in our community. She taught me the importance of goal setting, effective communication, teamwork, and leadership. This influence is something I will always carry with me and has truly helped shape me into the person I am today. I hope you all have had, or will have, a person like this in your lives. A person who helps you find the path you want to take. To know what you want from your life and what you want to do for others, and then learning what you need to do to make it happen. That is power and that is freeing. So hold on to what you have learned from your teachers, your coaches, your mentors, your family, and your peers. But remember to keep moving forward and always continue to learn and grow from new experiences and new opportunities. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. It is now my pleasure to introduce the five students with the highest grade point average in the class of 2020. Grady Fort, Alyssa Mazone, Jaskarin Singh, Kevin Chang, with the highest GPA, Corey Yeatman. Graduates with an overall GPA of 3.9 or greater will lead the recognition of students and are considered graduates with distinction. It is my privilege to introduce to you Celia Bizarro. Celia has been selected to represent the graduates with distinction. Celia has been on high honor roll for all four years of high school. 
She is the recipient of the Superintendent's Scholastic Recognition Award for all four years, the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement, the Outstanding Overall Senior English Award, Academic Excellence in Criminal Investigations, Outstanding Overall Senior Social Studies Award, Outstanding Achievement in Financial Literacy, Outstanding Performance in Physical Education, and the Merit Scholastic Award. Celia is an AP Scholar with Honors. Celia is also a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Chorus, and the a, a cappella group for three years, the International Thespian Society for four years, and as a PHS criminal justice completer. Celia will attend Mount St. Mary's College in the fall to study sociology and criminal justice in the honors program. She received the Mount St. Mary's College Trustee Scholarship, as well as the Calvert County Sheriff's Office American Criminal Justice Scholarship. At this time, Please welcome Celia, who will speak as the Graduate with Distinction representative. Thank you, and hello class of 2020. I'm greatly honored to represent such beautiful people today. I wish we could have all been together, but sadly, Miss Rona said no, and so we all just have to deal with that. I want to start by congratulating you all, and although it's cliche to say, we made it. I'm sure none of us believe that time would fly by so fast. All the stressful tests and essays, AP exams, practicals, concerts, shows, competitions, and games have now come to a close. And though it is a relief to be done, it also feels as though we are leaving something behind. Too soon. I want to assure you that nothing is ever too soon. Things always happen right when they're meant to. And they happen for a reason. And that what you're leaving behind is a legacy. Time and time again, the message has come back to me that this class is unlike any other. And yes, every class is unique, but our class seems to be specially crafted for something greater. It was shown through the administration and how their words since we came to PAX have emphasized how well behaved and high achieving we are. It was shown through the arts, how they've thrived during our time, gaining numerous superior ratings and state titles. It was shown through our sports teams, specifically the field hockey team, which was regional champs all four years and state champs one of those years. It was shown through the sophistication of our ROTC program. They qualified for orienteering and air rifle nationals every year. And it was shown through the growth of clubs like Girls Who Code, Math Club, and Vex Robotics, all of which are filled with insanely brilliant kids. I went to one day of Math Club and every question that was put on the board was answered in less than two minutes by the head of our class, Corey Yeatman. I saw how these kids worked every day in Nyland's APC e &M classes this year. No, I wasn't in those classes. I just went because I liked Nyland. But while I was there, color coding my psych outlines, I would watch how Corey, Kevin Chang, and Grady Fort would solve problems. They were like a machine. I've never seen a class work so well together and be so focused. They reflect the traits of this class as a whole. There are plenty of examples. Jacob Gedeke's dedication to SGA, Shauna Collins' work in the TAM program, and Carly Trinidad's hard work to set up the Student Voice Initiative with Alyssa Mazzone, and Meyer Lancaster, and the many students who have stood as an example that no matter what life throws at you, you can choose to overcome. The list goes on and on, and I know there are some of you who I don't know what you've accomplished, but I'm sure it's just as impressive. This class has some of the most intelligent, dedicated, and strong people I have seen. And in the words of Mr. Price, we want we as individuals want things and we are willing to work hard for them. Whether that is to excel academically, perfect your artistic skills, grow as an athlete, lead or ignite change, we all have something. And no matter the task or the field of study, there is a passion inside of each one of us. Our job is to find what we are passionate about. Be tenacious and find our way through life. And you don't have to know. Heck, I don't know where I'm going to end up. But, I, but you do have to find your own way. 
Do not be swayed by others. Look within yourself and see what you were created for. Now, class of 2020, hold on, because like AP Literature class, it's about to get a little analytical. Going back in time, we all came into this world around the time of 9-11, when the world was majorly changing. And now, we are graduating, and the world is once again on the cusp of a remodel. Call it what you want, but I don't see that as a coincidence. Trouble is a servant, my friends, and it is the opportunity to grow and gain a higher understanding of a situation. Things happen for a reason. Just the fact that we are the class of 2020, perfect sight, is message enough. We are especially equipped for what life has before us. We have wisdom, drive, and spirit within us at greater levels than classes before us had at this age. Keep growing, and we can be unstoppable. I want to thank all of the parents, guardians, siblings, grandparents, coaches, role models, and teachers out there for getting us to this point. Thank you for guiding and supporting us, and thank you for giving your all. It is seen, and it is appreciated. Class of 2020, I want to leave you with a Clark Sisters lyric today. Don't take it for granted that we are standing here. Just know that we're blessed and highly favored. Go out there, find your way, and hold on to your head. It's going to be all right. Thank you. Thank you, Celia. We will now have the presentation of graduates. Inez and Claggett. Dawn C. Bolinsky. Pamela L. Cousins. Tracy H. McGuire. Kate E. Poremski. Celia J. Bizarro. Jordan S. Abel. This is Jordan Abel, and I'm attending UNC Charlotte this fall. I just wanted to thank my friends and family for always supporting me, and congratulations, class of 2020. Sophia E. Andreas. Michael C. Brown. Kevin H. C. Chang. Hey, it's Kevin. I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who not only got me to where I am today, but also made my next step meaningful. Brianna M. Corbin. Sierra N. Crawford. Thank you to my mom, my dad, and my brothers, Justin, Andrew, and Sean. I'm glad to be a part of the class of 2020. I'm going to miss you, Pax. Owen R. Falco. Thanks for a great 12 years, everybody. Hope to see you soon. Grady E. Ford. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Congrats, Panthers. We did it. Faith J. Howe. Camille M. Izdepsky. Thank you to all my friends, family, teachers, coaches, and counselors who supported me on my journey through Patuxent High. Rachel N. LeBlanc. Kylie A. Lopez. Thank you to my family and friends who have supported me all throughout high school. Kayla M. Mack. Thank you to all my friends and family. Congrats, 2020. 
Alyssa G. Mazzone. Thank you to my entire family for always believing in me. Patuxent will always have a special place in my heart, and congrats to everyone. Jennifer A. O'Connor. Uh, I did it! <laughs> Jonathan A. Parsons. I want to thank my um, family and teachers for giving me this far. And to the seniors, congratulations. Caleb W. Sanford. Lily H. Severson. Hi, my name is Lily Severson, and I just want to wish all the seniors a happy graduation. We did it. Jaskaron Singh. Hi, I'm Jessica Ernst Singh, and I'm heading for the University of Houston. I would like to thank my teachers, parents, and friends for all the support along the way. Go Panthers! Carly B. Trinidad. Thank you to all of those who got me where I am today. Mom, Dad, Riley, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, coaches, and mentors. Much love for y'all. Caleb M. Withers. Garrett D. Witte. Corey J. Yateman. Thank you to everyone in my life, especially my mom and dad, who pushed me to become the best version of myself. John E. Alexander. We just graduated. Congratulations, everybody. I'd like to thank my family and friends and memes. Let's go. Sean B. Allison. Dale E. Anderson. Veronica E. A. Arma. Summer M. Arnold. Brent J. Atwell. Hello, my name is Brent Atwell, and I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to everybody that's helped me in my life and moving on to bigger and better things. Tegan L. Ayers. Gabrielle L. Baker. Gitana A. Baldwin. Kristen E. Barber. Caitlin J. Barnes. Austin X. Barrett. Ayana R. Bates. Stand right there. <laughs> Justin D. Beckham. Cameron M. Bellino. Maya D. Bellino. Ethan N. Bennington. Dylan E. Bishop. Thanks, Mom and Dad. We made it. Dylan M. Bishop. United States Marine Corps. Quinton J. Blackman. Quentin N. Y. Boakie. 
Hey, class of 2020, man, you know what's up, bro. Hey, we finally made it. Let's get it. Proud of you. David C. Bollinger. Marissa L. Boswell. Jacob C. Bowie. Desiree L. Bradley. Samantha N. Brash. DeJore D. Brooks. Diamond A. Brooks. Diamonique L. Brooks. Sequan R. Broom. Joseph B. Budd. Megan L. Burnett. Daz John J. Bush. Grayson W. Butler. Chris Calderon Tovar. James Calderon Tovar. Rebecca A. Calvert. Josiah P. Campbell. Evan C. J. Caven Jr. It's hard to summarize 12 years in 10 seconds, but I'd like to thank all my teachers, especially Mr. Garrison, and uh, congratulations, everyone. We did it. Serenity T. Chase. Clarence J. Chapman. William A. Clark. Ryan M. Clower. Nico A. Conti. Ashley M. Cornett. Mike A. Costas. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, and PAC staff for getting me where I am now. Elijah L. Courtney. Zoe C. Crosby. Shaylin A. Crush. Shauna L. Cullen. Megan M. Cusick. Kai P. Daly. Alexander M. Dalton. Yay! Eden A. Danvers. Damian D.K. Davis. Robert M. Davis, Jr. Go. 
Madison R. Dees. Jada K. Dixon. Mia G. N. Dixon. Ryan J. Dodson. Caitlin E. DeMoncos. Deja T. Dorsey. Caitlin A. Doherty. Nathan J. Dukes. Andrew W. Duty. Mackenzie A. Duval. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Duval. I'll be going to CSM to earn my associate's degree, and then I'll be transferring to UMBC to do ultrasound school. Jacob N. Zielowski. Jordan I. Eckert. Alyssa N. Ells. Zoe M. Elliott. Michelle M. Fennell. Congrats to the class of 2020. I wish you all the best of luck with your future. August C. Fields. Alea Y. Fleming. And we're done. Dylan R. Fletcher. Jada J. Ford. Megan G. Forrest. Hi, my name is Megan Forrest. I would like to thank my family, friends, and staff for helping me through high school. Next year, I will be attending CSM for a year and then transferring to West Virginia University to major in criminology. Megan L. Fulton. Arnez A. Garcia. What's up, class of 2020? We made it out. Yes. Uh, I wish the best of luck to all y'all. Hi, Mom. I finally made it out. And yeah. Tierra R. Gear. David G. Gilbert III. Jacob A. Gilbert. Jacob T. Gedeke. My name is Jacob Gedeke, SGA President, NHS Treasurer, and a Patuxent Harlequin. And what I like to say is keep moving forward. Let's do this graduation thing right, Class of 2020. Lily A. Gorman. Alexa R. Grabarek. Lauren E. Grand. Hey, Patuxent. Thank you for these past four years. I'm so sad to be leaving, but excited for Towson in the fall. Najee C. O. Green. Cody E. Granda. 
Go. Triana D. Gross. Nico A. Haggins. Elijah G. Ham. Skyler M. Hanback. Brendan L. Harper. Angel E. Harris. Shelby R. Harris. Shem F. Henriksen. Minimal homework. Still graduated. Sean P. Hicks, Jr. Stephen D. Hires. Hey. James C. Hode. Ethan O. Hoffman. Zachary T. Hoffman. Victoria A. M. Holland. To thank Mr. Forrest, Mr. Jones, Mr. Deal, Ms. Harris, and Ms. Rickwood for helping me through my high school experience. Ethan P. E. Hooper. Anna F. Horling. Drew A. Horling. Maya I. Horton. Luke M. Hoke. I'm going to give a special thank you to everyone that helped me get here. Uh, my mom, my dad, all my friends, my family, my teachers. Just, it's awesome. We did it. Nathaniel I. Huertas. Jenna L. Hunsaker. Perrin D. Hop. Kara C. Hurst. Thank you, teachers, for all your help. Congratulations, seniors. Alex J. Anapolo. Aiden M. Iberg. Thank you, making me sneeze. <laughs> Avery M. Iberg. Courtney L. Jenkins. Harville C. Jenkins, Jr. I'd like to thank my teachers and family for supporting me these past four years. Alexander N. Johnson III. Damian J. Johnson. Brian L. Jones. Cheyenne M. Jones. Kira B. Jones. Samuel A. Jones. Earl 
don't just buddy the third. Tawan J. Just Buddy. Jeremy R. Kalins. Jonathan J. Kellerman, Jr. Victoria N. Kenyon. Brandon L. Kreitzer. Janiah N. Lancaster. Mayari I. E. Lancaster. Don't give up on yourself. Work hard, have fun, and I want to thank all of my family and friends for supporting me in this. Mark A. Lee the Second. Michael D. Leslie. Joy L. Lewis. Nicholas J. Lipscomb. This is Nicholas Lipscomb, and I'd like to thank my mom, my teachers, my family, my friends for helping me through this journey of high school. Thank you to all of you. Maya M. Long. Juan A. Lopez. Dylan R.C. Lovett. Emily N. Lowrance. Cameron A.J. Maldonado. Benjamin A. Manuel. I want to thank all my friends, teachers, and coaches, and Nick Saban for giving me the opportunity to further my football career. Ashley S. Marin. Catherine B. Marinaro. Noah C. Marsh. Cameron A. Marshall. Cole A. Martin. David B. Massey. Joseph W. Massey II. Stephanie N. Mateo Hernandez. Haley A. Matters. William R. McCloskey. Jade A. McGrath. Connor W. McLaughlin. Derek E. Mellon. Philip T. Mervine. Joseph Milliker. Carissa J. Meisenheimer. Savannah L. Montes. Brianna J. Moore. Hi, my name is Brianna Moore, and I would like to thank my family, friends, and staff for helping me through high school. Next year, I will be majoring in marketing at West Virginia University. Marissa L. Mosley. Darian P. Mulliken. Brenna N. Murray.
Taishé S. Murray. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Ethan P. Musumeki. Brianna M. Nelson. Colby R. Nero. Jason M. Ogas. Maya F. O'Neill. Jamil M. Parker. Class of 2020, congratulations to all the seniors. I'm sad that we couldn't walk across the stage for one more memory, but hopefully I get to see you guys again one more time. Jonathan A. Pack. Serenity IRJ Pierce. Kwasi DG Pone. Thank you to those who helped me to graduate and come this far. Analia C. Pucciarella. Claudia J. Pyra. Joseph H. Rainwater. Noah T. Randolph. Cassandra L. Radica. Anthony J. Rawlings. <laughs> Alexis M. Richards. Jacob A. Richardson. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for everything you've done for me. I'm excited to start my career in welding. Thank you, Pax. Emma K. Rich. Dalton S. A. Roberts. Megan E. Roberts. Cade B. Rokarek. Madeline S. Rohde. To my friends, families, and teachers, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't have made it without you. We made it. Tanner K. Rotten. Rachel A. Signs. Thanks, parents and staff at Texan High School. Evan J. Salters. Anthony W. Santos. Anthony A. Schur III. William A. Scott. Tyler W. Sepulveda. Daniel J. J. Severson. Adriana E. Schuel. Elizabeth R. Sizik. Jared R. Short. 
Imani L. Simon. Congratulations, class of 2020, we did it. Kayla M. Singleton. Samuel L. Smirnoff. Antoinette M. Smith. Damari M. Smith. Swin M. Smith. Jade L. Smorey. Skyler M. Stahl. Taylor E. Stock. Robert L. Stone III. Okay. Mackenzie V. Sweet. Hope A. Sunshine. Lillian M. Susala. Elijah V. Taylor. Sabrina J. Fipwong. Brianna D. Thompson. Skylar R. Tid. Kendall J. Tizinger. Olivia C. Torney. Savannah N. Townsend. Anthony E. Trejo. Joshua D. Trout. Seth M. Turner. Haley N. Varvel. Hi, my name is Haley Varvel, and I'm one of the graduates from the class of 2020. Samuel S. Folina III. Shout out to all my family watching us. I hope everyone has a great summer, and I'm looking forward to my gen ed classes at Delaware Technical Community College this fall. Happy graduation, everyone. Kaylee B. Vetting. I plan to attend CSM for two years before I transfer to a bigger school and earn my degree in elementary education. Victor G. Vine. Hi, I want to thank all my friends and family and everybody in RGC. You guys have really supported me throughout these years. And. Mackenzie N. Wagner. Edward A. Walls II. Tronje J. Washington. Tristan J. Watts. Zykira E. Weems. Jacob R. Weimert. Okay. Morgan E. Weir. Congratulations, everyone. Colby A. Whitney. Justine M. Willie. Jeremiah Williams. 
Kira A. Williams. Grace M. Wilson. Am I doing this right? Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Randy M. Windsor, Jr. Nicholas J. Winfrey. Allison A. Young. Thank you to my family, friends, and staff that's gotten me through school. After high school, I put on sending CSM for nursing. Kanan A. Young. Mackenzie A. Zachary. Thank you to all of my friends and family that have helped me get to this point. And I just want to say a big congratulations to the class of 2020. We finally made it. See you guys at the reunion. Hunter B. Zen. It gives me great pleasure to certify that these members of the graduating class of 2020 have met all the requirements for a Maryland High School Diploma or a Maryland High School Certificate. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you, family, friends, and special guests for joining us in this celebration. We would like to conclude our program with the singing of Patuxent High School's alma mater performed by the PHS Choral Department. Oh, oh.